Can't stop me, I'm unbeatable, I'm unbeatable, I'm unbeatable. I'm unbeatable. Yeah. Even when score, every time they wanna clash, the wind is kicking through the door. I am unbeatable. Chance is running out of stock, and we're running out the clock. I fail once, never stop. I am unbeatable. I am unbeatable. I am unbeatable, yeah. 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 Hello and welcome to Unbeatable, your British Basketball League highlight show. My name is Tahir Hadja and each week we bring you the very best yeah. of the action from across the league. It's week 14 in the British Basketball League, which means we are halfway through the season. Where has the time gone? Well, in the game of basketball, time can be your friend and your enemy, which these two teams know all too well. First up, the Leicester Riders take on the Caledonia Gladiators. It's time to find out what happened. Calling this matchup is Dan Routledge and Azania Stewart. Time. Sports fiercest friend and most frightening foe. 24 seconds on the clock. A momentary decision where a game can be won or lost. Back to Whelan. Open for the lead. Patrick and Caledonia are ahead. Irreversible time. The one thing in life you can never get back. McKenzie hits with 7.7 .7 seconds to go. Time disappears quickly and never gives you a second chance. The mismatch for Moore to win it! No! The game-winning shot! High time for Leicester to stir and establish their class. About time for Caledonia to prove they are title contenders. It is time for Leicester versus Caledonia. Crunch time. Defensively, they haven't quite been at the level that we've seen Leicester teams in recent vintage. And they've obviously going through the growing pains of changing the roster as Onwas is open for three and knocks it down. There's McKenzie, top of the key, and that is very much his shot. DeBose down the lane, flushes the jam. Yes, DeBose, and he has a little flex. Head fake. Oh, it's stolen away by Thomas. Here comes Holmes. Leicester with numbers. Nice pass, and Thomas rocks the rim. Oh, gets it back, so slightly fortunately. And gets his first bucket as a result of it. There we go. Allen, nice pass, and jammed in by Dowu. Moore oh, with the two-handed throwdown. Yeah, I love that for him. Wheel out to Pauliza for three. He's got it, and it's a double-figure lead for Caledonia here at the start. Allen looking to attack. Blocked, absolutely thrown out by Moore. Holmes driving hard to the rim. Stolen away by Allen. Forward to Adowu, and Adowu will jam it in, and Leicester have cut this down to five. That's a oh, nice move from uh, Holmes as he lays it in and he cuts it. Allen under pressure, somehow forces that one in. How did he get that to go? Mackenzie out to Thomas. Levels the game at 81. Allen, who certainly had an exciting game so far. He's left his man on the Whoa. floor and he's hit the three. Whoa. We'll put more junior on skates, baby. Here's Allen for three. Got it! What a shot! Teddy Buckets delivering on his debut. Listen here, he said. He's got the ball in Allen's hands. And they're trying to get it out of his hands. Here's Holmes, deep one for three! It's into Whelan. Whelan fires up the three, and that is short. And the Leicester Riders, who've been struggling of late, who've made changes in the roster, but they're celebrating a victory today thanks to an unbelievable debut from Teddy Allen. 
Up next, we have the Manchester Giants hosting the Bristol Flyers. The Giants will be hoping to continue on from their confident performance last week against the Surrey Scorchers, whilst Bristol are navigating their way around a tough schedule in the league and in Europe. Calling this game is your commentators Josh Bett and Graham Hiscock. Ian Ledger reverse and they find Anson left wide open. The three is up and it's good. Well, Anderson, as you mentioned, could be a consideration for Great Britain come February time, Graham. Graham Bell, baseline, throws it down with two heads and no regard. <laughs> oh, Jackson here in the back hole now, turn it over. Lewis comes up and still he's going to lay this one up. Three tenths of a second now. Horsier trying to throw this one long. Passes up, gets it off in time. Oh, are you kidding me? Evan Walsh. Well, Walsh trying to push the tempo. Attacking quickly, going in the round. Finds Stapley in the corner. Another three is up. And oh my goodness. <laughs> this team cow. just cannot miss from the perimeter. Schnabel going to attack. But gets his pocket pick now. Lions have numbers. Goes up. He's going to finish this one. Patiently trying to build up the offense here for the Giants. Walsh baseline fakes the pass. Kicks out Borsi. Can he go for three? Number nine. You bet he yeah. can. Jacob twisting and turning, going in and round, getting rejected. Well, legend for Burton. Thomas Edwards now tries another one. Are you kidding me? I am legend, he just said. 19 seconds difference out you. Oh, baby. Again. That was right on a dime. And they get all the looks they want. Jacob, third time lucky, this time no problem. Flyers looking to regroup now. Jackson fires another three-pointer. This one's good. Goes down to Anderson. Spinning, going baseline up and again. A tough move by Jamel Anderson. Giants lead by 26. Lines ledge for a bunch. It goes in. And again, puts some all on the post up. And there's your player of the game, Evan Walsh. And now finally the Manchester Giants hit the century mark with 100 points. But at the end of this one, it will be the Manchester Giants as they win this one in the end. 103 to 80 against the Bristol Flyers. The Giants protecting their home court with a big W. Next up, we head to London, and it's a battle of the top two. The Cheshire Phoenix are certainly spicing up the league race and will be hoping to stay hot on the heels of the London Lions. This is set up to be a great match. Your commentators are Joel Osborne and Lloyd Gardner. New 14 for London and ball into Decker who throws it down. Nice pass into Ulf. Back out to Stevens. Driving inside. What a move and what a finish by EJ Stevens. Tariq Phillip driving to the basket. Kicks it out for another three pointer. And we said, you know, what a different team Cheshire are when you're able to score against them. Oh, no, what a pass to Maceo Jack who jams it in. Back and forth. Phillip puts it up, puts it in. Rebound for Rye. Rye looking to push. All the way to the hole, puts it up and in. Again, dancing through the lane. Oh, what a pass to Maceo Jack at the 45 for three. Decker to the basket, puts it up and in. Lobbed up to Sharma, who jams it in. A mistake from Cheshire, are they feeling the pressure, but that's going to help. Oh, Aaron Rye at the other end. Nelson to inbound. Find, oh, it's stolen away by LaQuincy Rido. And he beats the clock and jams it in. Morgan driving to the basket. The lefty layup is good. Taylor pulls up for three, drains the three. And Morgan out in transition, it's blocked, but it goes in anyway. Incredible. No need to panic yet, they've just got to bring that energy level up again. Here's Aaron Wright, what a move, and what a finish. Morgan, screen from Sharma, kicks it out to Decker. Corner three ball, knocks it down, and that is a massive shot. Three-pointer is up, no good, and that will do it. An incredible comeback win for the London Lions as they create separation at the top of the British Basketball League table.
Up next, the Caledonia Gladiators play their second game of the weekend against the Surrey Scorchers. Your commentators for this one are Dan Routledge and Azania Stewart. But first, away from the basketball court, we caught up with Pat Whelan. He's been bagging big triples all season and is letting us in to his secret to success. I always think the pressure is earned. You know, you earn the responsibility to have the pressure of having the ball at the end of the clock um, and being the guy that you can shoot it because, you know, your teammates and your coaches trust you. Gladiators have to shoot. Pat Whelan for three. The shot clock expires. Definitely aware of the clock when we play. I think it's especially important at the end of each quarter, a two for one opportunity, which is basically just like, you get the chance to make two possessions when they only have the chance to make one. Wheeler now goes off the dribble, puts up a high arc. I think it's important, especially me playing a little bit more point guard this year, to try and get our team into our offenses quicker. The, the faster you can get into your offense, the more time you'll have uh, to run the play. And then if the play breaks down, the more time you'll have to create something um, in that last phase of, of each offense. So you might have an extra couple seconds at the end to make an extra pass. and you know, get a better shot than you would. Can he reply? Yes, he can. Pat Wheeler, nothing but net. Whenever you can make a three when the other team are scoring twos or, you know, you can take a three to put your team up by three. I think those are always big opportunities and always have you focus in a little bit more. Pat Wheeler fires it up. There are a few different situations when, when you get a three-point shot. You know, you may be on the move or it might just be like a catch and shoot three. You may be shooting off the dribble. There's a few things to keep in mind. I think the first one for me is my feet. I always, you know, try and make sure my feet are planted and, and squared up to the basket. It gives you a good base and, and makes sure you're on balance. Everything else I don't, I try not to think about too much. Um, apart from when I get the ball to my set point, which is usually like about here. I try and make sure I, I follow through and give the ball a good arc. Um, if the ball goes higher, it has a better chance of going in. That's why a lot of times you'll hear announcers say I shoot it with a lot of arc, but really it's because I know it has the best chance of going in. It's written in the stars, Patrick Wheeler for three. Most people will see me as quite an emotional player, but I think for me it's, it's celebrating every win, right? Every, every shot that goes in, I think it kind of reinforces you to shoot the next one well too. I think honestly it's the best feeling in the world when you execute something so perfectly and you know you go shoot the ball it goes in on that and you know everyone's happy and you've made your teammates happy you've made the crowd happy for me one of the best feelings on the basketball court for sure. He did it last week he's doing it again this week Patrick Whelan. He's trying to back down, using his size, kicks it out to Paliza, open for three, perfect start for Caledonia. Doesn't knock it down, Jamison out running the floor, he's going to try and dunk it again, and this time no mistake. Since those first couple of minutes, here's Whelan from behind the arc, Patrick Whelan, number two all time in three-point shooting percentage. To back threes for Patrick Whelan. Lovely, and he struggled. Friday night, yeah, Friday one night. For eight from three And that range. one came in the last, last quarter, minute, didn't it? Yeah. There's an awful lot of at the basket and an awful lot on the one side of the floor. Yeah. Out to Whelan. He's already made a couple of threes. He's flushed off the three point line, but he knocks it down. Ball is wrestled back by Malcolm. Here he is again. And Patrick Whelan hits his third triple of the game. Oh, good, and dancing his way through the key finds a gap. Okay. Tough shot. Oh, good follow from DeBose, though. Good. Again, slows it down and goes high off the glass for two. They've got to go quick here. Lawrence fires up the three and hits on the buzzer. Big shot from Andrew Lawrence. Oh, he's thrown it away, though. DeBose chasing it back will win that foot race, and it's all Caledonian. Whack down the lane, acrobatic finish. Ogan Dengby for three, banks it in. Well, they've got it over somehow, and Malcolm will have the easy job of jamming it in. That will be it. They will dribble it out. 12th win of the season for 
Gareth Murray and co. Patrick Whelan got them going early on with some rhythm threes. That gave them a lead. Let's keep the action going, and we are back at the Copper Box for the second time this weekend. The London Lions now host the Manchester Giants with a 3-0 record in favour of London. This is the last time the Giants will face the Lions this season, and they might be glad about that. Your commentators for this matchup are Josh Bett and Rob Paternostro. But that one dribble, quick pull-up is money for him. Oh, Matt Morgan coming around the screen and nailing a three-pointer. Now Lee, he tries a wide-open three. This one's up. Well, that looked good from the minute he left his hand. But now Giants will go for a three and transition. This one's up, and it's good. Well, figure that. They had a team. It's now the throwdown. I am legend. Well, Lewis pulls off in the mid-range, and again, London gambled on defense. Well, Lewis down the middle, finds Legend Row. Burton, are you kidding me? Well, there's a quick three. Three is up. That is good. The man who took the game to overtime against the Gladiators stepping up big time. JT. Sandy going all the way. Didn't know where the pass or shoot gets his own rebound. Walsh crossing over, bumping, avoids the block. And again, this guy simply is incredible. Initiate contact as JT goes behind the back, finding Morgan, and that is BEA beautiful. They almost, yeah, they're going to turn this over. Well, Lewis comes up with it. Morgan didn't want to go for the backcourt. It's back to an eight point ball game. Jamel Anderson makes both free throws. Lines have got to go quick. They find Morgan, he goes up, and now it's a five point ball game. Oh, another one. They turn over. Connor Morgan's going to go up, and again, he finishes it. Maybe a timeout here to get it up the floor. Well, they got to get the ball inbound. They find Connor Morgan. Hand off with Taylor. Taylor, Hail Mary. Oh, oh baby! Oh. One more time! Deja vu! He's done it again! We are going to overtime! Again, no foul calls. Oh, no. It's going to be a turnover now. Caboza comes up with it. Caboza goes in, finishes with the layup, and now it's a three-point lead. Morgan kicks out, finds Connor Morgan, big three. Good night! That is all she'll write tonight. Well, Basel fans, big victory tonight for the London Lions. They win this one, 99 to 91. To finish up the week's action, we are heading to Cheshire, where the Phoenix will need to bounce back quickly from their loss in London just two days ago. Taking you through this one, Dan Routledge and Azania Stewart. Nobody wants the score yet. No. Football game, isn't it? Nil nil. Here's Rideau with another steal. Oh, he's blown that, but they're sharp. Oh. Austin in transition. They've seen that an awful lot here. Wow. McGill dancing, spins it up off the glass. Dancing indeed. Here's Skyler White for three. Knocks down another. Jack. Is uh, White again? He's knocked down his four three of the game, four or five. Ward Hibbert, rebound by Austin, knocked loose by uh, Rideau, throws it down court. Numbers here, and they're giving it up for the easy jam. Is Miguel with the transition, and he knocks it down. He is going crazy right now. So sure, Shago has it. Batted away, and here's Green out in transition. Taj Green with the highlight play, and boy, did he enjoy that. Here's Austin running it the other way. Austin, he goes through the foul, flexes the guns. Jack, off the glass, tough finish. Here's Johnson, top of the key. He seems to move at a different speed. And Skyler White with a big, that's our ball ref. And the referee agrees with him. Well, Torch Green isn't dribbling anything now. He's getting another highlight. Whitfield is going to go for it. No, he's not. He's going to give it to Green, who gets it off in time. Will that count? Yes, it will. Basket is good on the buzzer from Torch Green. And they've, they've turned what was basically a 10-point game uh, for most of it into a 22-point row. Yeah, in a flash. That minute took forever. Let's take a look at how this week's action has affected the standings. 
and Newcastle win going away. 113 points to beat the Cheshire Phoenix. So that moves Newcastle up to fifth now. Mm -hmm. Cheshire, their seventh defeat of the season, but a lot of games still to be played. And there's quite a tight battle in the middle of those playoff places. And now here's your chance to see the top 10 plays of the week. Here we go. And we said, you know, what a different team Cheshire are when you're able to score against them. Oh, event. what a pass to Maceo Jack who jams it in. Maceo Jack just throws it down. Debose down the lane, flushes the jam. Yes, Debose, and he has a little flex. Beautiful, strong drive down the paint. For sure, Chagua has it batted away, and here's Green out in transition. Touch Green with the highlight play, and boy, did he enjoy that. Love it. Screen and jams it home. Stolen away by Allen. Forward to Adowu, and Adowu will jam it in, and Leicester have cut this down to five. Serious look. I like that. The riders are not going anywhere. Jacob twisting and turning, going into route. Get it rejected. Well, legend oh, Roberton gosh. said, take that one back to the southwest. Initiate contact as JT goes behind the back, finding Morgan, and that is BEA beautiful. Coming from Taylor, finding Matt Morgan's big time pass. Love that around the back pass. Morgan, screen from Sharma, kicks it out to Decker. Corner three ball, knocks it down, and that is a massive shot by Sam Decker. Three tenths of a second now. Horsier trying to throw this one long. Passes up, gets it off in time. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Evan Walsh. How did he get that? He got that off. Here's Allen. He certainly had an exciting game so far. He's left his man on the floor and he's hit the three. Well, we'll put more junior on skates, baby. They find Connor Morgan, hand off with Taylor. Taylor, Hail Mary. Oh, oh baby! Oh. One more time! Deja vu! He's done it again! We are going to overtime! Jordan Taylor, are you kidding me? This guy has no limits! And that is unbeatable basketball. That's all for now. I hope you've got your basketball fix. We'll see you next time.